Hello there, welcome to today's video. Please like and subscribe and we'll get right on with it. So, yesterday I started covering on the potential of a potentially major polar vortex. And today I will continue to do so because this is really starting to look like quite an impactful event. So, stay tuned. Okay, so here is next week, Thursday morning. I will always go to 12Z just because that's about the time that the coldest temperatures occur. These are the wind chills, not the actual temperature. This would have been super bad if it was actual temperature. But anyway, so, so you'll notice over portions of northern Minnesota, northeastern North Dakota, widespread negative 10 to negative 20 degree wind chills. And then some locally um, lower values of negative 23. And then up here in... in Say Ontario could be some up to negative 55 degree wind chills, and then so on and so forth. I'm gonna need to learn my Canadian provinces because I'm in the US, so <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna learn them so that I could do better coverage of you know Canada. Um, see here, and then here's Friday morning, so you'll notice that now it's covering much broader area from Montana all the way through to even um, portions of New Hampshire, I mean, Vermont. Okay, so you'll notice in Wisconsin widespread, uh, mainly negative five to negative 15 degree wind chills, so pretty cold. And remember, this is like one of the only nights you'll ever have sub-zeros that looks like likely this year, so. And then northern Iowa, mainly negative 5 to negative 8 degree wind chills. So, again, locally, lower values of up to negative 13. So, Dubuque could get up to negative 3 degree wind chills. Rochester could get negative 11. Minneapolis could get negative 9. And then all that. Saturday morning, luckily people aren't out as much. But then, of course, it's not covering as badly here. Like, I mean, there could still be negative 27 degree wind chills, which is brutal. But at least this time, Rochester, Minnesota is 11 degrees. Minneapolis, um, Bismarck. But then it's over here towards northern New York, negative 28, negative 30. So this will be mainly the higher elevations, but people certainly live there. Then up to negative 50 and then here's Sunday, good old Sunday. You'll have mainly just negative, negative two to negative five degree wind chills in Minnesota, still cold. Do not underestimate it. That's a mistake many people unfortunately make. Negative 10 degree wind chills and then up to negative 20. And then you'll notice that right here in Saskatchewan, uh, sorry. I am bad at pronouncing it. Um, got widespread at negative 35 to negative 45 degree wind chills. And you'll notice that's starting to move to the southeast. And then, again, widespread negative 20 to negative 35 degree wind chills in the northeast and U.S. Whoops. Monday morning. So right as the kids are going back to school, you'll notice widespread wind chills of anywhere between negative 10 to negative 20 degrees in all throughout Minnesota. Dubuque could get negative 4 degree wind chills. Minneapolis, negative 6. Rochester, negative 11. And then over here, negative 20. And then, oh, oops, I forgot. 60. That's so uh, best we can get now. So, oh. So it's not quite to its coldest, but it's going to be about here. But um, again, widespread, this time negative 15 to negative 25 degree um, wind chills for Minnesota. Again, some locally higher values are possible. Um, we'll continue looking at that potential. Then negative 40 there. Then Wednesday morning. Negative 16 degrees for Rochester, negative 6 degree wind chills, then negative 45 there, negative